guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film my Thanksgiving makeup tutorial for you guys. The main star for today's makeup tutorial is this Tardiest Pro To Go palette by Tarte. I got this a little while ago and I have been wanting to use this for the longest time. These eyeshadows are amazing. This I think is my first time ever trying a Tarte eyeshadow palette. I believe. I believe so. And oh my gosh. These these are so creamy and they smell delicious. Oh, they smell just like cocoa powder. Oh my gosh. But oh my gosh. They're so so pigmented. Like look at that. The mattes are just so creamy. I'm in love. I'm so glad I picked this up. They're just beautiful eyeshadows in a tiny little cute palette that is perfect for on the go. And yeah, I'm, I'm not sponsored or anything. I bought this with my own money, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm just really impressed. Really impressed. I just really love the brown chocolatiness of this look. And I thought it would be perfect for your Thanksgiving get together with your family or yourself. Whatever. I'm not judging. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. So first I'm going to start off with these Rimmel London Magnifies Shadow Sticks. And I'm going to start off with the Queens of the Bronzed Age one. I'm going to take the brown side and just apply that all over the lid like a base. This stuff is like semi-permanent because it's, it stays on all day. I'm just taking a shader brush and Perfecting the shape a little bit. I really wanted to try out my Tardiest Pro to Go palette. I have yet to put this on my lids. It's crazy. It was a while since I bought this, but I really wanted to do a look with this. So this is going to be the main star for today's tutorial. So I'm going to go over this brown using the color Boss which is this beautiful, beautiful brown color. I'm just gonna use my finger and start in the center. Get that. And just pat outwards to where it fades into that base that we put down earlier. Ah, oh, these smell so good. They smell like cocoa powder. Next, I'm going to take this color in crisp. It's really kind of peanut buttery shade and apply that to the crease I'm going to dip into this brown color in Stylin and just take very little on my brush because these are pretty pigmented <laughs> and place that in the outer corner I'm going to reapply some of that brown eyeshadow, the one called Boss, over the eyelid because most of it did get blended away. I'm going to mix both Drive and Hype, these two colors at the end here. Um, drive is just like a creamy matte beige color and Hype is this amazing gold. They are so beautiful. Is that gold though? Wow. Uh, I'm just going to mix these two colors and place that on the brow bone. And then going in with just hype, I'm going to place that in the inner corner. I'm going to drag that to the lower lash line. And then taking the color crisp, I'm going to run that on the bottom lash line. And then going in with Stylin, the dark brown, I'm going to use that for the outer bottom lash line. I want a little bit more light 
to my eyes. So I'm going to take Hype, that beautiful gold, on my pinky just a little bit and place that right in the center and start fading that out. I am going to fill in my eyebrows. I want my eyebrows to be like a really deep chocolatey brown. So I'm going to use my Lorac Pro 1 palette and dip into Sable and Espresso and fill in my eyebrows using both of those colors. I'm going to do a quick little wing and I will be right back. So I created my wing. I used the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper and then I went over that using the Mica Beauty Cosmetics gel eyeliner just to make it a little sharper and darker. And for my waterline, I used this Bella Pierre Cosmetics gel eyeliner, just the black one. I already curled my lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on. I'm going to just use the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. For foundation, I'm going to use this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Mine is in 05 or Warm Beige. And I'm going to mix this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop, Prosecco Pop in with the foundation. <laughs> so I totally forgot <laughs> to add a primer. Oh my gosh. I do have lotion on, so I guess that's why the application is not too terrible. But I totally forgot about the primer. Normally I would have gone in with the Benefit Cosmetics uh, Professional. That's usually my go-to. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey and use that for concealer. To set the concealer, I'm just going to use this banana powder from Oprah Cosmetics. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Your Minerals Sweden Translucent Powder. Uh, it's called Transparent Veil. I'm going to use the Highlight and Contour Palette from IBY Beauty, IBY Beauty. I got this from BoxyCharm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use this palette to contour and bronze as well. For blush, I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Blush in Blushing Natural. And then right on top of the blush, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild and Fergie highlighter in Rose Golden Goddess. This is supposed to be a highlighter, but for me it's more of a blush topper. And for highlight, I'm going to use this You Do You highlighter from Oprah Cosmetics and Dupe That. I'm going to pop on these Kiss Lashes. These have just been my go-to like all month. I definitely need another pair of these lashes because they're just so beautiful. But I've been using them non-stop and they're uh, pretty nasty looking now. <laughs> While we're waiting for this to dry, what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving? I have no idea yet. No idea. Last year, um, I cooked Thanksgiving dinner, like just for me and my husband. And then we also went to his parents' house and my parents' house. And at church, they had Thanksgiving dinner. So, I mean, I was pretty turkeyed out <laughs> after that, but it was a lot of fun. 
the lashes are still drying, but in the meantime, let's go in with the lips. I think I'm going to go with the Ofra Cosmetics Americano Liquid Lipstick. You can, of course, keep your lips like this, which I actually really like this. Oh. But you know me, I have to be a little extra all the time. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the Amore Metallics uh, Liquid Lipstick by Milani. This one is in Materialistic. And I'm going to apply a little bit on the outer edges just to create uh, kind of like an ombre. Okay, I think that matches a little bit better, but totally your choice. That's technically two lip options right there. Now finally, I'm going to set all of my makeup down using this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Place that on the brow burn. Brow burn. <laughs> I'm going to put... I'm going to place this color... I'm going to create a quick little... I'm going to create a quick little... I'm going to quick... Quick, quick, quick. I'm going. I'm going to use. I'm going to take my sh sharp. <laughs> sharp tip. I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro One palette, and dip into Sable and Espresso, and use both of those as. This is most likely the shirt that I'm going to wear for Thanksgiving too. This is like my go-to shirt. Every year. Every single year. I don't even know how old this is. This is like from... I don't know. When I was like in high school? Around that time. Definitely around that time. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think this was like a birthday gift or something? I don't know. But... <laughs> It's one of those attached shirts. I thought it was like so cool with this on. And I don't know, I mean, I still like it. I still like it, but it's definitely old school. It has like one of those belts attached. Look at this. <laughs> it's attached. I kind of stole the look from Santa. Okay. That's all right. That is a wrap.